Good morning, my little tattletales. Yo, wake up. We got something to talk about. You guys, woo! Kanye West has done fired his lawyers, and baby, don't believe the hype that TMZ is telling you. I think Kanye woke up this morning and said, Good morning to everybody, but Kim Kardashian, y'all. Let me tell you something. Kim got what she asked for, but not what she wanted. Baby, let me tell you what's going on with Kanye West's lawyer. Let me tell you how this is the worst situation Kim could hope for. Because he is not playing. First, let's get into this TMZ nonsense. Then I'm going to tell you the real tea. Listen, also, really quick, before we get into it, you know what I'm going to ask is YouTube, baby. Hit the like, subscribe button. If you really down with this, turn on the, your notifications because you know I'm going to chase this story down to the bitter end. Let go. Really quick, before we get into it, I'm going to give you all the plot. Listen, Kanye thought he was going to get back with Kim. He was posting stuff on Instagram. He finally listened to Kim and said, okay, we not get back together. Baby, I'm done playing with you and I'm fight. I'm I'm literally going to hire a legal barracuda who specializes in child custody and multi-million dollar nasty divorces that is renowned around America. That other lawyer, that was for when we were playing nice. Now that we go on the war, let me suit up. But let me give y'all the details because they good, baby. Okay, so here we go, right? TMZ reports, right? Kanye West is playing games and musical chairs with his legal team once again, dropping his divorce attorneys in the 11th hour just before a pivotal hearing with Kim Kardashian. Now, this is the same TMZ that said Kanye was weird for protecting his legal rights, right? So apparently everything's weird because when I heard this, I said, listen, y'all was complaining this man was fighting too much on Instagram, ada, ada, ada. So he finally piped down and now he's fighting legally i'm gonna show you on a second why and now we got a problem with it come on man also kanye west is playing musical chairs for a number of reasons here's it they said sources with direct knowledge tells recently he fired his lawyer chris melcher we're told the relationship between jay and belcher had become extremely difficult with little communication citing Kanye has expressed he just wanted to settle things with Kim. And at other times, he expressed a desire to put up a fight. We're told Kanye's now hired uh, attorney Samantha Spector, who recently represented Nicole Young and blah, 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 blah. Okay, y'all, let me give y'all the real tea and the real breakdown, right? First of all, this is Kim's 50 11th divorce. This is literally her, what, 12th divorce? And I'm not shading Kim Kardashian. I'm just saying Laura Wasser is one of the is one of the best divorce attorneys in LA. She has been representing you and your family and all things related to custody, divorce, support, all that stuff. She started hiring you and Chris Humphreys. Prior to that, Kim, you also went through lawyers. Now, here's the thing. A lawyer is like a doctor. They are someone paid to represent your interests. Time, if you do not feel like they either are not or cannot adequately represent your interests, baby, you fire them. The fact that they're now trying to make it seem like it is a personality defect to go through lawyers, again, this is his third lawyer that he has fired. However, sources say one of the reasons he was let go is because he was too comfortable with Laura Wasser and the Kardashian camp. There were, first of all, what lawyer tells the opposing counsel, I can't get in touch with the guy? Yeah, you got a public defender, somebody you pay him $50 an hour, but when you are paying somebody literally a five, six, eight hundred dollars an hour billable rate, he's like, I can't get in touch with the guy. Now, I'm not saying the lawyer said it, but it's funny how Kim Kardashian's camp is literally leaking everything that the lawyer is saying about Kanye West. And I don't care what y'all say. If you got a lawyer that's not adequately representing your interests, talking about you in ways you don't want, and you don't think they can do the job, baby, and you a billionaire, you better fire them. Second of all, I find it funny that all the leaks now, again, everybody's just like, oh my God, Kanye's Instagram's post, but Kim's the one actually doing real damage because you are actually releasing stuff about the case. It's her, listen, it's her prerogative, baby. I ain't mad at the game because I'd do the same thing if I was on Kim Kardashian. I would do the same thing if I was in Kim Kardashian's shoes. And guess what? I would do the same thing if I was in Kanye West's shoes. I mean, I wouldn't be stalking my ex and putting their ex on blast, but it, I would be literally, now here's why Kim is really mad. Baby, Kanye is suited up for war. Kanye is suited up for war. Do you know why I really honestly think, in my opinion, why he fired that lawyer? Because he's done playing with Kim. I think he's finally, he, he has his Malibu mansion. Now, I know Kanye throws around money, so that Malibu mansion might not mean anything. But he has, he's done playing with Kim. I think he's given up the hope of them actually reconciling. And now he's getting a lawyer 
that is a powerhouse in her own right. This other lawyer might have been fine when he just thought Kim ain't serious. She ain't going to go through with this. So he hired a lawyer, but he was like, whatever, this guy ain't nothing, right? Now that he's taking it seriously, guess what? Kanye didn't just fire his lawyer and hired another. He fired his lawyer and hired the top gun attorney. When it comes to dealing with nasty custody issues and multi-million dollar fortunes. That's right. He hired top gun attorney Samantha. Baby, let's get into this report. So they're saying Kanye West isn't taking any chances when it comes to seeing his children. Hiring one of the top attorneys in this country to handle Kim Kardashian. This is according to The Blast, right? According to new legal documents obtained by The Blast that Donda Rapper bought in Samantha Spectre to represent him in the ongoing divorce matter, which signifies he is not willing to gamble on the custody of his children. That's right. For as much as TMZ tries to go and makes it seem like Kanye's going go, 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 go. No, Kanye realized the fight he has ahead. He decided for whatever reason, that lawyer, they haven't even gone into the actual legal issues. Don't forget, they haven't even gone to trial for the divorce. So him changing lawyers right now is really no big deal. The fact that he's changing to this powerhouse that don't play about representing people who were going against Goliaths, right? They, now, get this. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about her, but let me get to the report, right? The legal move comes amid a push by Kim Kardashian to escalate the status of the couple's divorce and legally become single, regardless of whether property or custody issue has been settled. Again, Kanye, well, I'm, again, I'm the first one to say, Kanye was fighting, fighting, fighting Kim. He ain't want to let go of that girl. He finally got in his head what Kim has been telling us. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. And Kanye said, all right, bet. Let me take these little kitty gloves off and put these boxing gloves on. Literally, now that he is, she is determined to be single and he sees no hope of reconciliation, now he's bringing in a top gun legal in the, in the nation. Forget about California. In the nation to represent his interests. And the, it goes on to say, as they reported, and we all know, Kanye has been vocal about his issues with Kim K and having access to his four kids. And y'all can say what y'all want. Ain't nobody ever accused Kanye of being a bad father. And this ain't stumping for, let that man be a father. No, it's the point of whether it's Kim or Kanye. If you're a good parent, you're a good parent. And it is what it is. You can stay mad about that, right? But one thing we knew, he wants to be an evolved father. Kanye never struck me as a person, either before they divorced or now, that he would be comfortable seeing his kids one time a month or one time a year. And that No, he wants to be an active, evolved father. Say what you want about Kim and Kanye. They both love those cute little kids with all their heart. Plus is saying that Kanye's issue after uh, actually started after Kim referred to herself as the main provider and caregiver to the children, sparking Wes, uh, Wes to say, what do you mean by main provider? He continued, America, you saw, saw you try to kidnap my daughter on her birthday. Okay, again, this word kidnap, I even said, Kanye, stop it. However... I do no. There's no way she could have kidnapped because I know sometimes with child custody, right? You can use the word kidnapped when it's agreed in the custody agreement that the child's supposed to be with you, and then the other parent takes them without permission. They do look at that, but I don't even think they had a child settlement, a custody agreement. So I again, Kanye tried it. I still don't see the kidnap, but you know he was in his feelings, but he tried it. Did say right. You wouldn't provide me the address to my child's birthday until I got on social media and publicly shamed you. Then you put security on me inside the house to play with my son, then accused me of stealing, and I had to take a drug test at the Chicago's party party because you accused me of being on drugs. Again, it's Kim's right to do that. If you feel like the other spouse is acting crazy or insane or whatever, yes, baby, drug test them, do what they want, protect those kids. But you can't get mad when the other person says, guess what? You got on my last nerve. Ha ha, you thought that was cute. You know what? You thought you thought that was funny. Guess what? It's my turn to laugh. No, I don't appreciate you drug testing me and I'm going to war with you. Again, in this world, you can do anything you want. Just don't get mad when the other person reacts, right? Now let's get into this legal eagle. What she hired. Kanye was having major issues with Kim not allowing him full, full access to his children. Again, Kim ain't never saying something about Kanye being a bad dad. Even with this current thing, she's not. She's literally not asked, allowing him to see the kids when he wants. Now, me, 
what do I think of that situation? Kanye was dead wrong for putting up those Instagram posts, but Kim's dead wrong for not allowing him full access to the children. No matter what you think, he should have full access. I think they're both wrong. I just think Kanye makes a public spectacle of it and everybody weighs in where Kim quietly does her dirt. Now listen, so in steps Samantha Spector, the powerful celebrity that voice lawyer has represented some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Amber Heard against Johnny Depp and Dr. Dre's ex-wife Nicole Young against Dr. Dre. In both cases, she navigated nasty allegations of abuse and complex financial issues over multi-million dollar fortunes. What does this tell me now? Listen, the Amber Heard case, Johnny Depp, Nicole Young, Dr. Dre, she is an expert at going up against cl- where the adversaries have a bigger celebrity profile and are more well-liked by the public. She really rocked that mess for Amber Heard and got... A, 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 Johnny Depp's still mad about that settlement that Amber Heard got. Now, you might be saying, oh, so what? Nicole Young didn't get anything. Dr. Dre's a billionaire. Aha! I thought the same thing. But I did some research. Do you know Dr. Dre's been overstating his assets and a lot of his billion-dollar assets are not liquid? When you look at his liquid assets that are worth anything non-liquid... Nicole Young got like 65% of it. We laughed at her, but according to what Dr. Dre was really worth, yo, baby, she took she took him to the cleaners. Don't forget, Johnny Depp and Dr. Dre had music companies, media companies, production studios. Oh, please, don't listen. We see what's going on with Wendy Williams. Don't think that these people that have interest in high-powered stakes do not have that machine behind them helping them secure their bag. Don't think for that second. So she went up against powerhouses with high connections and still came out successful. Yo, Kanye is done playing with Kim Kardashian. Woo! But one thing we can say, this divorce is about to get ugly. Because the thing is, and I'm not saying whether he's right or wrong, I think that the Kanye that Kim saw when he was trying to get back with Kim and when he was trying to save the family and the things he did and the antics he did, I think are completely different from the stone cold Kanye that's now just like, all right, well, if it's over, let me make sure these assets go where they're supposed to, right? And also, let me make sure these custody things happen. Now, get this, right? The Blast even notes that California's family law courts are known for ordering 50-50 custody in most divorce cases when there are no other issues present. Please don't believe that Kim's not going to bring out any other issues, and maybe she should. But the fact, listen, this is all I'm saying. Y'all wanted this man to shut up and hire it in court, and now that he is, and now that he's suited up for battle, and even changing out different, like, okay, we about to go to battle. You're fired, you're fired, you're fired. I need some people that know what they're doing, because before I was trying to play nice, and now I want it off with their heads. And now everybody mad, and everybody talking about it's weird, it's weird i'll tell you what by kim kardashian posting her prenup trying to do the smoke screen and also by tmc posting this yo they are worried about this right now they go on to say it'll be difficult for kim to try and dictate when and where kanye sees his kids but that's probably what she's fighting him for and that's probably why kanye suited up by the way kanye's noted that kim will not be able to control the situation as kanye alleges with her security or legal team again y'all talking about kanye west being a control freak it is well known and documented even by kim's friends she is also a control freak they are two control freaks hashing it out and if this continues down that road you can prepare for a legal showdown which is exactly why kanye was hired the top lawyer for custody multi-million Again, this goes back into this thing about shared property. There is shared property at stake. A lot of people say, oh, well, he bought her out of the Head and Hills. The shared property is seven mil- 70 million, the Head and Hills house. Let's not forget, right, that Kanye's the one that actually bought that house. They weren't co-owners. Kanye's the one that bought that house. That 70 million, we do not know how much Kim gave, how much Kanye gave, but that 70 million has not been settled. And there might also be other assets that they didn't tell Forbes about. Cause don't forget, Kanye and Kim gave that information to winner of 2021. There might be other assets and trust that they're not telling the public about, but that they know about. Now get this, right? Kim, Kim and Kanye are due in the courtroom today to discuss the status situation. It doesn't appear that there will be any issues moving forward on the issues with the party. It means that Kanye's done fighting. You can be single, but I'm going to protect my property rights and my custody rights, which is what we wanted Kanye to do in the first place, right? including reinstating Kim's name back to Kim Kardashian instead of Kim Kardashian West. It looks like Kanye ain't arguing that either. Y'all, let me know what you think about these developments. 
I'm going to keep a close eye on what happens in court today. Make sure you turn on subscribe and notifications so you can get it. And y'all, all I'm saying, don't believe the hype. Let's look at the facts for what the facts for what the facts are. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.